He's an American-born Nigerian singer, songwriter, performer, philanthropist, and music producer. He rose to fame in the Nigerian music scene in 2011, following the release of his hit single, Demi Duro, the second single of his debut album, Obo. He has since worked his way up to become one of the most recognized and revered Afrobeats icons across the globe. Hello guys, and welcome to another exciting installment of our Top 10 Celebrity Facts series, brought to you by Sidemex Entertainment. This video's episode is all about popular Nigerian international multi-award winning music star Davido, who has, since his breakout single in 2011, continued to hold sway in the music industry, not just in Africa, but across the globe. But before we continue, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever we release a new and exciting video. Now, let's dive in. Number 10. Davido's real name is David Adedeji Adeleke, and he was born on the 21st of November. November 1992 in Atlanta, Georgia, USA. He was born to Yoruba parents from Nigeria, Prince Adedeji Adeleke, a very successful businessman, and late educationist, Dr. Veronica Imade Adeleke. Dr. Vera Adeleke was a university lecturer until her death on the 3rd of March 2003. The artist was the fifth among five children. Number nine, Davido attended the British International School in Victoria Island, Lagos. Though born in the US, Davido spent his formative years mostly in Nigeria as he completed his basic education in the country. In 2010, at the age of 16, he returned to the US to study business administration at Oakwood University, Huntsville, Alabama. The young Davido, however, was distracted by his passion for music and didn't graduate from Oakwood. He eventually obtained an undergraduate degree from Babcock University in Nigeria as a compromise with his education-loving billionaire father. Which brings us to fact number eight. Davido is an alumnus of Babcock University, Elisha Nremo Ogun State, Nigeria. Babcock University is a private institution of higher learning founded by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Incidentally, Seventh-day Adventist Church are also the owners of Oakwood University, which suggests that Davido had a strong Christian background. Davido got admission to study at Babcock in 2011 and graduated in June 2015. At the time, rumors had made the round that he graduated with a first class, but the fact-loving music star came forward to set the record straight. Tweeting, I did not graduate with first class, but second class, yes. In case you're wondering what degree Davido obtained, it's a BA in music, naturally. As an aside, Babcock University was where Davido's mom, Late Dr. Veronica Imadi Adelete, the Vido's mom, taught until her untimely death in 2003. His family has reportedly invested over 200 million naira to support the academic establishment. How generous. Number seven. Did you know that Davido's initial music focus was in production as opposed to singing? Yes, according to the talented World Class Act, when his father dropped him off at Oakwood, he also left him with $2,000. The young artist used a chunk of that money to purchase a music studio set and set about making sounds, which not surprisingly affected his studies. He quit the uni after two academic years, according to an interview he granted to Rolling Stone in April 2019. Davido relived the this period in a 2019 interview he granted to OK Africa's show Moments With. In his words, I used to make music in my dorm room. It sounded good though. I actually started as a producer. I wasn't even focused on being an artist. I wanted to be the guy behind the scenes. Eventually, Davido left the US for the UK and that was when his focus shifted from music creation to singing. At the time, his father who was big on education reportedly didn't find it funny. But the heart wants what the heart wants. I fought to be in music, Davido tells Plus TV Africa during a short interview in March of 2020. Davido eventually convinced his father, Prince Adeleke, to give him a chance. The rest is now history, as the saying goes, and Davido has since stated publicly that his dad has played a big role in his career as a mentor and as a supporter. Number six, Davido lost his mom when he was only 10 years old before his 11th birthday. While the death of a parent is a very painful experience for most normal people, losing a beloved mom as a young child is even more difficult. Davido appeared to have been very close to his late lecturer mom and has at various times talked about how he believes his mom was the one looking out for him and how he misses her. For instance, Davido named his two daughters Imade and Veronica after his mom. Imade is the name of his first child while Veronica is the name of his 
second child. In June 2019, he uploaded a photo of his mom with this caption written in all caps. Love you, mommy. I know it's you that is protecting me. I know. I love you. Your son Galen die. R.I.P. Again, during the 2020 Mother's Day in May 2020, the Omo Baba Olowo shared Dr. Vera's photo with the following words. Happy Mother's Day, mama. Keep resting in perfect peace. We they worry them down here. Wish you were here. Also back when he signed to Sony Global Music in January 2016, he tweeted, my mother is smiling in heaven right now. Number five, which brings us to a very important fact about the multi-award international artist. The video was among the first Nigerian artists to be signed to Sony Music Global, SMG. The artist announced the deal on Twitter on January 21st, 2016, writing, my story is just starting. At the time, the only other Nigerian musician to have secured a global deal with SMG before the video was Nigerian-German artist Neka, signed with SMG in 2005. The deal was expected to help DeVito break into the American and European markets. Under the deal, he released the not-so-popular Son of Mercy EP, a five-track project that dropped in October 2016 with guest appearances from Tanisha, Simi and Nasty C. Rolling Stone described the EP as punchy beats and reggae vibes, a different sound than what made DeVito successful in the first place. So, it was not surprising that DeVito renegotiated his contract with Sony in 2017 over creative control issues to enable him to make the kind of music he wants without hindrances. Since then, he has been dishing out one hit song after another, starting with the single If. Other hits released by DeVito after If include Fall in 2017, Fia in 2017, Assurance in 2018, Blow My Mind in 2019, and Risky in 2019. Which of these songs is your favorite amongst DeVito's singles? Tell us in the comment section below. Number 4. 2011 was a very significant year for DeVito for several reasons. This was not only the year he reached a compromise with his father that allowed him to combine his education and music career, but it was also the year that he released his breakout single. If you're a fan of DeVito, you probably know that we're talking about his hit song Dami Duro, through which the music star announced himself as Omo Baba Olowo, OBO, meaning son of a rich man. The song, which dropped on the 30th of October 2011, was immediately embraced by the public and it became a street anthem. It also features rapper Nato C, and producer credits go to DeVito and Shizzy. It was the music that launched DeVito's career as an artist, but it was not his debut single. That honor goes to Back When, released also in 2011. Interestingly, despite being OBO, breaking into the Nigerian music scene was not a walk in the park for the talented artist. In May 2020, DeVito took to social media and shared the moment he gave his Dami Duro demo to Cecile Hammond in 2011, with the hope that he would get signed to perform at a concert. According to the artist, he would need to have the CD back. We wonder how that will pan out, because it's certainly a conductor's item now. Meanwhile, DeVito followed Dami Duro with smashes like Gobe, Skelewu, Chelete and Al Nikoko before his global hit song If. On the 17th of July 2012, DeVito released his debut album titled OBO, Omo Baba Olowo, on the HKN Records, a record label he co-owned with his brother Adewale Adeleke. Artists like Nato C, Sina Rambo, B Red, K Switch, Ice Prince, and Two Face Idibia, also known as Two Baba, were on the album. The 17-track album won Best R&B and Pop Album and was nominated for Album of the Year at the Headies 2013. It was also nominated for Best Album of the Year at the 2013 edition of Nigerian Entertainment Awards. Number three. Speaking of awards, DeVito is one of the most decorated Nigerian music artists in recent times. The music star has won or been nominated for over 80 prestigious awards like the Soul Train Music Awards, Afrima, Mobo Awards, All African Music Awards, BET Awards, Cora Awards, The Headies, MTV Europe Music Awards, Nigeria Entertainment Awards, Ghana Music Awards, Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards, World Music Awards, Billboard Awards, to mention just a few. The Vito's first recognitions were in 2012 when Dami Duro won Hottest Single of the Year at the Nigerian Entertainment Awards and was nominated for Best Pop Single and Song of the Year at the Headies. The video for the song also won or was nominated in several other awards like the Channel O Music Awards, 
Awards, the Nigeria Music Awards, and others. His most recent recognition was at the 2020 South African Music Awards, Sama, where he won the award for the Rest of Africa category for his album, A Good Time. At the virtual award ceremony held on Monday night of August the 3rd, 2020, the video also made history as the first Nigerian to win the award. The song became popular and 30 billion became the pop standard for wealth. The video and his team immediately recognized they had struck gold. They branded themselves with it after DeVito packed his bags and left HK and Gang to form his own music label, DeVito Music Worldwide, DMW. The separation was amicable. After all, HK and his family, owned by DeVito's big brother Adewale Adeleke, aka Chairman HKN. 30 Billion Gang was just perfect for OBO and his team, and within months, everyone associated with him became a member and a logo was born. Meanwhile, as a song, If enjoyed massive success. It was certified diamond in South Africa. It won Best Pop Single and Song of the Year at the Headies 2018. In September 2017, Davido teamed up with menswear designer Orange Culture to release a capsule collection inspired by If. Davido's concert between 2017 and 2018 were also called 30 Billion Concerts. Meanwhile, head over to SidemexEntertainment.com to read all about 30 BG members. Just type 30 Billion Gang in the search box on the homepage to quickly bring out the post. Number 1. DeVito has a record of first achievements to his credit thanks to his global hit song Fall, which is his most successful song to date. Fall, released on the 2nd of June 2017, has something of a checkered history as far as its success story is concerned. The song didn't immediately pick up steam abroad, but when it did, it was at full throttle. On Tuesday, December 18th, 2018, the single became the first song by a Nigerian artist to cross the 100 million views on YouTube. Currently, at the end of July 2020, Fall has garnered over 175 million views on the video sharing website. Fall also holds the record for the longest charting Nigerian song in Billboard history. The song spent a total of 21 weeks on Billboard charts, peaking at number 13 on the 20th of April 2019 on the Billboard US R&B and Hip Hop Airplay. It also peaked at number 25 on Billboard US Hot R&B Songs and number 3 on Billboard's World Digital Song Sales. The second wave of the song's popularity came as a surprise even to DeVito. As he explained to Rolling Stone, I'm just as surprised as everyone else. I released almost 10 records after 4. I'd forgotten about 4 basically. Additionally, 4 was certified platinum by the Recording Industry of South Africa. It was also certified gold both in Canada and in the US and was one of the top 100 most Shazam search singles in the US in January 2019 and was a top 10 record on Shazam in New York. 4 also made it to the DeVito's sophomore album, A Good Time, released in November 2019. It was the second single in the album after If. A Good Time peaked at number 6 on the Billboard US World Music album on December 7, 2020. It spent 25 weeks on the chart. It went platinum in South Africa within three months of release. Two other songs in the album also went platinum at the time. They are Blow My Mind featuring American Chris Brown and Risky featuring Jamaican dancehall act Pop Can, which went double platinum. On Tuesday, July 28, 2020, Columbia Records UK announced that A Good Time has officially reached over 1 billion streams on all platforms. Mind-blowing, isn't it? Meanwhile, DeVito postponed indefinitely the world tour for the album due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. There are so many facts about the talent of DeVito that we've left out. For example, his support for young upcoming artists, his numerous deeds of kindness for those in need, like when he paid a 50 million naira hospital bill of an airport staff and then paid the fees of a fan who reached out to him on Twitter. Selling out concert venues like the 20,000 capacity O2 Arena, his other business endeavors and so much more. Did you know that DeVito was the first African artist to perform live at MOBO Awards? Fact. His sound has been sampled by Ed Sheeran and Alicia Keys. Another fact. His past beef with Wizkid does deserve a mention. Yes, that was a thing. But he and Wizkid have gone past that now as he told OK 
UK Africa's moment with last year. In his words, so the beef now seems to live in the minds of both of the artist's fans. In his words, he says, we're sitting back in our comfortable million dollar houses and you guys are fighting, cursing yourselves, killing yourselves online. We've had our differences in the past. We were young, but this time everyone is focusing on just moving this Afrobeats up. So, the Vito's preoccupation is just making music and promoting Afrobeats, as he told UK's Channel 4. It's a great time for Africa. It's a great time for African music. And with that, we conclude this edition of Top 10 Celebrity Fact Series brought to you by Cydemex Entertainment. Are there some quick facts you feel like we missed? Please let us know in the comment section below and check out this other recent clip from Cydemex Entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.